Good girl. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicolas. I'm a 35 years old Frenchie located in California, in Laguna Beach. This is your first time here, welcome. I've created this platform to mainly talk about fashion, luxury items, bags. Um, if so, if this is something you and I have in common, please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel and you can also check my Instagram page so we can become internet friends. <laughs> Okay, guys. So in today's video, first of all, we have a special guest. I don't know if you can see her, but do I say hi? <laughs> She's my baby girl. She's gonna stay with me for the for the video. Okay, with that. Okay, no way, man. In today's video, I wanted to review and talk with you about one of my favorite items that I have. Um, purchase at the beginning of the year, so I had it since a few months now, so I think it was a good time to to review it. This is the Kelly wallet from Hermes. I was saying that I purchased at the beginning of the year from Bestiaire Collective, so that's a pre-love item. It's not vintage uh, yet because it's from 2009. So I'm on the floor today for, for this video because I review the video I posted recently about my Gucci loafers and I really felt like the light was better in this part of my house compared to in my living room when I'm film, filming my intro and my conclusion. Um, so I'm gonna be on the floor today. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. So in this video, I really want to discuss different points. So the first one would be my uh, thought process behind this purchase. It's, it's an expensive one, so uh, you can imagine that it was very well thought. And I wanted to share that with you because maybe that can help you in your decision of buying it or, or, or not. And then I really wanted to discuss uh, the product by itself, meaning the different functionality and what fits and then we will uh, talk about uh, the pros and the cons. So for the first uh, point of this video, which is my thought process. So as I was mentioning, I purchased this item pre-love through Vestiaire Collective. And this is an item that was on my wish list for years. I'm talking like maybe five or, or, or seven years. When I look at my Pinterest page, it was already on it. Not necessarily in this particular combination, but this item was on it. And why did I pull the trigger on this particular one? If you watch my previous video about my bag collection of the review on this particular bag, I purchased this beautiful Kelly 35 vintage from 1992 back in summer 2021. And then in my mind, I really wanted to add a wallet that go with this bag. And this one was already, you know, on my wish list that I was telling you for years. So I happened to to think that okay, I need to find something that goes very well with with this bag. You know, to have kind of like have a complete collection or a complete set. I looked for like a a box dark brown with gold hardware wallet, and I didn't tell you it was impossible to find. This one popped up and on the side collection, and I was really not really consider I found it beautiful right away obviously the condition were perfect and it's kind of dark brown with gold hardware so it was obviously um, answering to to my wish but I was not really a fan about the exotic laser I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video it's this is an exotic laser or type of wallet by the way, if you are not a fan uh, of this type of laser, I totally understand and feel free to don't watch the rest of the video. This is not something that's happening to you or this is not something you are supporting, basically. I'm not like a particular fan of exotic laser. This is not something that I wanted to add in my, in my collection, but I'm picky in terms of like shade and, uh, and um, hardware. And this particular combination was exactly that I it was everything that I wanted to. So I saw this one and because it was exotic, because it's, it's exotic, the price was a little bit more than what I wanted to put in it initially. 
But you know, after months of consideration, uh, I finally decided to to pull the trigger on this one, and I and I bought it. And honestly, I haven't regretted it once. The price I was always mentioning was more expensive than the regular Epsom or Box uh, Kelly wallet. But it was also, I think, three times for an exotic leather, three times less expensive than what you can find in the Hermes uh, website or in boutique. Hopefully this is helping you understanding why I, I picked this one. You see those two next to each other. That looks, that looks pretty good, right? <laughs> uh, let me tell you that this is the two items I'm using the most right now. This is my daily bag when I go to my, to my office and this is my daily uh, my daily wallet and because I'm carrying a bigger bag, I mean this has no problem fitting fitting in it, you know, so super convenient for my for my life. Most of the Kelly wallet that Hermes was or is offering are coming with Epsom leather and I think I mentioned that in one of my previous videos, but that's definitely not one of my favorite leather from Hermes. Um, that's maybe an unpopular opinion. I really enjoy some more like raw type of leather, like uh, box, barinia, uh, this type of, these types of leather, so I guess the ones are more scratchable. <laughs> if you are looking for a Kelly wallet, I don't think there is a ton of uh, options in terms of leather. The main one that I said is Epson, so this one for me was a, a no-go. Box, which is more rare, um, but I think for box it's mainly coming in black and then you have I think some chevre so some goat uh, leather but this one was not really would not have been my first top uh, top choice as well so honestly except the uh, box in, in brown there are not a lot of combos that was attracting me for this particular model I saw this one I was like okay that's an exotic piece that's not really what I would like to add to my collection but this is so beautiful uh, in terms of combo and that's why basically I put the trigger on this on this particular one. Okay now let's tackle the second point of this video which is more like a description about this particular wallet. So first of all this wallet is pretty significant in size as you can see this is one of the largest I have ever seen to be completely honest. So I don't know if you have one of those items maybe that will help you um, kind of like comparing but I have a Bodega Veneta wallet and this is definitely smaller than the Hermes one. And I have a little like card holder from Saint Laurent. I think this one is more popular, so maybe some of you guys have it and you can compare. Um, see, so that's a pretty large, uh, small leather good. This opens exactly like a Kelly bag. So you have the little turn lock here that you can close or open with the little thing here. And it opens exactly like, like this bag, like that. And then you are opening and entering the enter of the, of the wallet. I'm gonna do some close-up for you to see, obviously, better what's, what's inside of the wallet. But basically, in it, you will find 12 cards holder, and that's, uh, that's pretty significant. I'm someone that's carrying, uh, obviously, some credit cards, but also, you know, my IDs, uh, my uh, any, anything uh, that you can uh, that you can think about. Next to those um, twelve credit cards, you have two little pockets on each side of it. That's where you can put like more uh, more stuff in your wallet. So for me, I have my check, for example. I have my vaccination card. Uh, I have another like ID card, some pictures from you know me and my partner. You have like then uh, two big compartments next to the credit card holder. And in the middle, you have a little pochette where you can put some cash or whatever you want. For, for me, for example, I have a uh, disinfected and surface wipe. You know, you never know. And that's pretty it. Huh? You know, on the back, there is nothing specific. Just, uh, just uh, the, the bag, no pocket, nothing. Honestly, this is one of the largest but most useful uh, wallet that I ever uh, encounter. And uh, and I, I love it honestly. I'm putting everything that I need in it again, and I'm carrying it every day, and that's really uh, my 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 go-to as far as wallet. Above the turn lock, you have the Hermes Paris made in France, 
This, for me, is a little symbol, the little square that means that this is an alligator skin. Every exotic skin has a different symbol, and if it's not an exotic skin, you have, you have nothing. Okay, so now we are entering into the third part of this video, which is about the pros and the cons of this particular wallet. So let's be positive, let's start with the pros. And the first one that I really want to highlight for this video is the functionality of it. Um, as we have seen in the description part of this video, this item can fit a lot. And if you are like me, someone that's carrying a lot of uh, cards and uh, checks and other items on an everyday basis, and you like to have everything in one place, this is definitely an item to consider because, again, there is room for 12 credit cards as well as, you know, cash, um, checks, picture if you are like me you want to have picture but also other necessary or unnecessary item like uh, um, disinfectant wipes so honestly the functionality of this item is there and uh, this is uh, that will be the number one i think pros pros for it the so number two pros that i wanted to mention for this particular wallet is the versatility of it and that's always a plus and that's not necessarily something that we are expecting when we are talking about wallet, right? But this item is very versatile and it's mainly due to, I would say, its size and the way it is designed. Its size because it's a pretty large wallet, so you can really use this item as a clutch uh, when uh, when you go on, a, on when you go out. I've done that on a multiple occasion, only carrying this item, and that works perfectly. You can fit your phone in it. Like so, I have the iPhone 13 and it's fitting in it pretty, pretty easily. Ticket of parking, valet parking, whatever uh, you can think about that is pretty small, you can fit in this wallet and you are good to go for your night or for your day. So a wallet that can transition to clutch is definitely a, a plus for me because at night I, necessarily, I don't necessarily like to bring like bigger bags with me like uh, like this uh, Kelly 35 so this is definitely enough for me to uh, to, to to wear for a night out there is some videos on uh, on on youtube that are very interesting about how to pimp <laughs> your your Kelly wallet with a strap i think uh, i am gps is a uh, is mentioned in that in one of these videos, so I definitely found that interesting. It's my understanding that Hermes wants to stay maybe away from the, their initial design without a strap, and they really want to push this item with a strap to be used as a, as a bag. I think this item for a wallet is pretty versatile already, so if you want to even to make it even more versatile, adding a strap. Uh, to, to it would be actually a good idea. So I can see why Hermes is uh, basically doing that on their own and proposing this item with a strap because I think it, this is actually a very nice item to, uh, to, to consider. Mm. Another pro obviously is linked to the beauty of this wallet, so really the aesthetic part of it. So I've never seen a wallet as beautiful as this one. That's my you know personal taste, personal opinion, but um, wallets are generally more like simple and have a uh, I would say a simple design to, to it for, for good reason. So if you are looking for something a little bit more elevated, um, that's definitely one to consider. You see the price will be a little bit more elevated as well, but um, we know that this is Hermes and we know that this is uh, the pricing that uh, we're going to encounter if we buy from this brand. As far as uh, cons, I have to, to thought about that a little bit more, more, um, more carefully here. But the two first ones that uh, I can think about are um, the way it's opening and closing. That can be a little bit challenging at time and the fragility of it, but this is linked to later. So let me, uh, let me just talk a bit more about the, um, the way it's closing and opening. We mentioned that when we did the little description of the, of the wallet, right? But it could be challenging and a little bit annoying sometimes to open and close uh, your, your wallet like so. You know, obviously, when you are looking for your credit card and you want to reach inside of the wallet, you don't necessarily want to go through the process of closing and opening every time. And that's why I'm letting, you know, the little arms hang sometimes. And I have to say, we were talking about the aesthetic of the wallet, the little arms hanging like that. 
if you don't want to close and, and, and open are not the best look for it. That doesn't bother me that much to be completely transparent with you, but that's something to keep in mind if you're not very patient about, uh, you know, accessing some stuff in your wallet. That might be not the best item for you. Keep in mind that it could be challenging to close and open every time, but I mean, if you are used to the Kelly's or even the, the Birkin, I think, uh, the way they are closing and, and opening, you will be fine with, uh, with this particular wallet, I think. And the second cons I was mentioning earlier is mainly due to the uh, fragility of this of this item. Alors this is very linked to the type of laser I have in hand. If you are again buying um, the, this particular wallet in Epsom, which is a more resistant, less scratchable laser from, uh, from, from Hermes that I particularly don't really like. But if you are very particular about having your wallet looking more pristine, I would say that Epstein might be a better laser for you. I like, you know, the vintage again, raw. I don't mind the scratches, so I'm, I'm completely fine having like a more sensitive laser, but this is to keep in mind if you are not like me. That's still a cons because I really have to be careful about this wallet anyway, even if I'm less sensitive to maybe other person about scratches. This is an alligator skin, right? And that this is very sensitive to water and drop of water. Uh, and I'm going to do some close up and maybe I can show you. But unfortunately, uh, one of my bottle water leaked into my bag. Anyway, I have a little drop on the, on the wallet and that's bothering me a lot. I've tried to make it disappear. I've contacted a, a preview employee of Hermes to ask if I can do anything. And apparently there is nothing to do. So, Maybe time will heal. <laughs> if you are buying it in box or maybe chevre, that will be a little bit more sensitive than Epsom as well, and water will be kind of your enemy too. So I'm putting that more at, in a cons section because that could be a little bit annoying to always uh, be careful about this uh, this type of, this type of, um, of situation. And that's the end of the, this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I really enjoy filming it. I hope you have learned a little bit more about Hermes and uh, this particular item is one of my favorite brands so I'm always happy to, to discuss this with you. One item I would love to add now would be a Birkin 40 in this particular combo. So a chocolate brown Birkin 40 with gold hardware. That's where we have the three, the three items. Uh, let me know in the comment down below what you have thought of it. This is an item you will potentially have in your collection one day or this is something that you will absolutely not have. Thank you so much again for watching my video. If you are not subscribing yet, don't hesitate to do it. That will be uh, that will make me very happy. And other than that, I will see you in my next one. Thank you guys. Have a good day or have a good evening. Bye bye.